All right, quick uh, video tonight. So I realized I had this book up in my closet. <laughs> uh, year, I probably bought this 20 years ago. I had a uh, Miata that I was gonna put a Rover V8 in. Bought a uh, four, I think I had a 4.2 that I was gonna put in there, or 4.6. Anyway, um, so I bought this book and I, all of a sudden remembered that I had it, went up in my closet and found it. And I'm glad I did. Well, lo and behold, then I remembered, uh, right as I got to scrolling through the book. If you'll remember uh, my last video, I was asking about the water temperature sending unit and uh, it looked like it was, could be the right one, um, but I didn't know for sure. And uh, anyway, um, I should have, known more on that in a second but anyway when i was reading through the book and i kind of scrolling through saw a picture of my manifold i've got the john wolf racing manifold um and then as i was reading about it over here it says one of the nice things about that manifold is that it has the correct water temperature sender unit outlet which should be right here which is where my sending unit is mounted. Now, back to the more on that later moment. <laughs> then all of a sudden I'm like, well, duh, the guy that had it before me had this engine and transmission in another MGB that he had driven for a few years. So obviously it would make sense that he has the, uh, the water temperature sending unit issue resolved already and it's probably an MGB unit. So I'm gonna give them a uh, call tomorrow or send them a text message just to make sure that there's nothing wrong with it. But uh, anyway, so I guess I've got that figured out now. So I'll just uh, kind of focus on this page while I talk about the rest on the video tonight. Um, my headers, I measured the uh, collector portion, uh, the downpipe, and I've got the, I don't know what brand or anything they are, but they're kind of a block cutter block hugger style of header and uh, they basically shoot straight down um, I don't see any on this one mine don't go through the fender they go straight down and they just basically drop right around here underneath the engine so it's like a, I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a 1.75 it's uh, it's not a very large diameter pipe coming down out of there. Actually, it's 1.5 coming in, and my headers themselves, the tubes, I've got the 1.375, uh, which sounds from reading in this book again tonight that that's a fairly that was the, the common tube header for that uh, early Rover engine. Um, so now I'm just looking at all this to plan my exhaust out, basically. Is at some point I'm gonna to have to quiet things up a little bit as I'm trying to drive it around and uh, testing other things out once I get the engine going um, so yeah that's a really tiny exhaust and really everything I'm reading says that you don't want to go much above that uh, maybe 1.75 to 1.625 maybe um, are some options uh, it does say that this particular engine would probably benefit from a, an H pipe or an X pipe um, and honestly I don't know the difference between an H pipe and an X pipe I mean I know what the difference is but I don't know what the difference is performance wise why one would be better than another in particular application so if somebody knows that let me know uh, however um, it does sound like having at least one would be a good thing to do or having having the crossover would be a good thing to do so i'm going to plan on doing that and then basically my plan is to just bring them underneath the seats and then angle them out with uh, probably a, a glass pack of some sort or some type of header or sorry some type of muffler and then shoot them out um, as a side exit on either side of the car right in front of the rear wheels um, so that's it on the exhaust and then finally the thing I was going to update is my alternator uh, 
I was able to, it looks like get the three, uh, I've got the three wire plug uh, from the original and, oh, well, I'm guessing it's the original. No, I think the five wire is the original. Mine is a three wire plug, uh, unless the later cars, mine's a 78, maybe the later cars came with three wire. Anyway, point being is that I saw that it the, the plug assembly does come apart, which made me think maybe it was an aftermarket one. Um, but it comes apart and I should be able to pull those wires out very easily and um, redo the pins on them so that they'll basically fit into my two wire uh, plug that I just bought last night. And so everything should look pretty, uh, pretty well, fairly factory anyway. It's obviously gonna be different, but it won't look like it's just wires spliced together. So I'm happy about that. And there's plenty of uh, plenty of wire there, slack in the wire to do that. Um, and then finally, the, I guess, well, I, keep, I guess I keep saying finally, but the other thing that I looked at tonight was uh, my oil uh, filter assembly. I need to figure out a way to move that and have enough space to kind of move things around up in that front passenger corner of the engine bay. Um, I think I want to try and mount the filter, the remote filter to the front panel um, that supports the radiator uh, or to the inner fender well, I guess. But uh, mine has a um, another mounting bracket on it, but it looks like it's just maybe something to give clearance. And I'm thinking I might be able to get away with putting something on either that's not as thick or just going directly with taking that piece off and putting it um, directly to the fender. Not sure that makes any sense since I'm not doing a picture of it, but I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed, but the car is, uh, you know, had to figure out a few things tonight. And anyway, in my brain, I've made a lot of progress. But uh, I guess uh, one could say I'm starting to ramble, so I think it's time for bed. And then uh, tomorrow I'm going to pick up uh, some stuff that I need. Um, and I'll hopefully have a couple days this weekend because my project at work is finally mostly complete now where we'll have the weekends off. And... Hopefully this weekend I'm going to make some progress on the car. I'm really hoping to go to the, uh, there's a British car event down in Huntsville, Alabama this uh, weekend on Saturday, I believe. So I'm going to try and go to that. But uh, hope everybody has a good night and good day whenever you see this. We'll uh, hopefully have a little bit more of in-car video next time. But there's my progress and status for the day.